like a seven pounder, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> what a cool fish. Gold. morning. Uh, we're in a little bit of a different <clears throat> place and a little bit of a different destination than normal. Not in saltwater. And we're up here in Lake Tahoe on the California side and we're gonna go fishing for some Mackinac aka lake trout and some rainbow trout possibly brown trout. And I've never fished here before so we're gonna try some things. We're gonna try doing some slow pit jigging, try doing some weedless swim baits, some swim baits, some pickle kicks by Kicker, Submission Fishing Company jigs with some slow pitch jigging. We're gonna go out to some edges, some deeper stuff, and find if the fish are out relating to that zone, but I've never fished on this lake before, so I'm gonna learn a lot today. And then over the next couple of days, while we're on family vacation, I'm gonna bring up my nephew, gonna see if we can get on some fish, so. Today's day one, exploratory mission. Let's see if we can go find some fish. All right, so some things I just I was researching online that seemed to be reoccurring themes with lake trout fishing was deep water and ledges. So right out here where we're going is going to be a fairly steep drop off from about saw on the map about 20 feet down to 60 and then past that to 120. And we're out here in the morning. We're gonna do the jigging first uh, because it's flat and the wind comes up here in Lake Tahoe typically in the afternoon. So we're gonna go out, set up in the above the deep water, start vertical jigging all the way down to deep, deep water, find where the fish are, see if we can get a bite, if we get a bite. And then we'll keep working around the ledge and just kind of discover what's here and then the next couple days we'll see it will really get on some fish. but. Very, very different out here. Super, super clear water. Super, duper clear water. But we'll see. No expectation. <laughs> never, never fished this place, so. It looks cool though. On the videos, they look pretty, pretty interesting. Perfect for a slow pitch jig. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna fish is this slow pitch jig made by Submission Fishing Company. This is a 20 gram assassin in blueberries and cream. Uh, good color, I think. We'll see if it's neutral or not uh, for this water. It's super, super clear. Um, so I actually probably have way too big of a line on here. I have 12 pound test, but I'm trying to hook big fish. So start with a little jig and see if we can't move up. Uh, we'll get busy here and show you what we can do. What a morning, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. We are on Donner Lake. This is my nephew, Joseph. What's up? We're gonna go out here and see if we can get ourselves some lake trout and some submission fishing company jigs. So, first time ever being here. Got here, we got up at four. Got here and we're, it's about six o'clock. We're gonna go see if we can catch a fish or two and there's no one else on the lake, so the odds are in our favor or not. We'll see. Felt like I was doing fine. Oh my. Don't fall in now. Turns out oh, you're that I've just that. got a little bit south, just a little <laughs> bit north of the Georgia line. That's his ride this morning.
Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, I came off. Oh. No. Last thing I remember, I was drinking till the moon shine. Oh my. Turns out that I just got a little bit south, just a little bit north of the Georgia line. All right, just launched for the third day fishing up here in the Tahoe area. Today, we're gonna to be doing <clears throat> Lake Tahoe instead of uh, Donner Lake, which we did yesterday. Had one hookup at 130 feet of water on the Submission Fishing Company 20 gram Assassin. Today, we're gonna to try Lake Tahoe. We had some rain today. It's been cloudy all day. It's been raining all morning. And I think the fish might be up in a different place, so hopefully our luck will change. I'm tired of these fish not biting. <laughs> I'm ready to hook up and get one landed already for video and for posterity, knowing I can do this. So stuff without a fish finder. If you're coming up here, you better have a fish finder. Don't come up here without a fish finder. You need one. This place is very deep. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully get one. Hopefully we can show you this on show, show this on video. Crazy clear. Super duper clear water. Cool. I got something. Stay on there. Well, I got something. I don't know what this is, but it's something. Come on, baby. Holy smokes! I got hooked! Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh my god! The search is over! Oh shoot! Uh oh. Wow. You guys, I finally did it. I've caught a lake trout. <laughs> I've been trying so hard to get this fish for three days and I finally got him on the assassin <laughs> oh god oh no stop oh my god he's so full of fight right here but down there he has zero fight that's so awesome what a pretty fish Amazing how far you drift away in the 
spot. I can't believe I didn't get that far away. Well, gotta go back to it. I'm in the wrong. Oh, hello. Maybe I am in the wrong great spot. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Well, this is definitely bigger. Much bigger. It has head shakes. <laughs> it has head shakes. Bigger! <laughs> yeah, let's go! No one's around to hear me scream! Woo! Get my neck for this one. Oh, this is bigger! Yes! Yes! Let's see it! Oh, it's not even that big. <laughs> I don't care, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! No fish finder, what? Woo! And I got him. <laughs> Three days of this stuff and I finally figured it out. Yeah! All right, there it is. Number two. Yeah, a little, a little bit bigger. They get really, really big, so these are tiny. But we're gonna take him because I've been trying. Been trying three days now. Woo! No fish finder. I've been out here for three days with no fish finder, struggling to figure these things out. I'm fishing like 90 something feet right now, blindly. And I got him. Number two, baby. Mmm. Slow pitch. The, the uh, Submission Fishing Company Assassin Jig in the 20 gram of blueberries and cream. Mmm. I'm on them. I'm on them. Yes. All right. So what I'm using on Lake Tahoe, lift fishing for lake trout, is a slow pitch jig made by Submission Fishing Company. This is called the Assassin. And it's a very skinny, broad, and it has a... Um, a keel on it on the bottom side of the jig that makes it shimmer and shimmy down on the way as you're letting it fall with slack line and it has two single hooks on each end with a flasher on it like flashy marabou or something like that um, this is the blueberries and cream color seems to be working I'm actually going to switch it up and try a gold the golden death here pretty soon um, but this is with 12 pound test monofilament and 10 pound test braid on a thousand size reel and a seven foot seven, very soft, um, very soft tip re rod. And uh, just basically slow pitching it, just like you would in salt water, very small twitches upwards, maybe about a foot and a half up, and then reeling while you're doing that. And the fish today have been coming up off the bite, but yesterday I got a bite yesterday at Donner Lake, right on the fall at the bottom. So check out these jigs. They're in a few shops down in Southern California. You can also get them online, but they are awesome. Uh, working in freshwater, first time I ever tried slow pitching in, in freshwater. Works in, working out in Lake Tahoe with no fish finder. All right, now we're gonna try some golden death. Maybe the gold's gonna get bit more, we'll see. And if you're wondering how deep I'm fishing, I'm fishing until my bale or my reel is completely empty. <laughs> and it varies. Sometimes it doesn't require me to go all the way down, but it's definitely in some cases close enough to be out of line. Better not hook the big one.
Oh yeah, there he is. Woo oh yeah. <laughs> I've got you all figured out now. Okay, we're gonna bring this one up super slow so we can release him. There he is. Oh, perfect. Perfect releasable fish here. He's all burped out according to the name burping. Uh-oh, head shaking. He might come off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> cool. Woo, now we're getting them. Oh, there he is. Oh, it came off. Damn it. On the way down. On the sink. Oh, oh, there's a lot of here, guys. Oh, there he is. There's a lot here. There is a lot. I was, I just got hit by like three fish right there. Yes, let's go. <laughs> A little bit lighter on that spool, that drag. Is he blow? Oh, no, he's doing good. Error's coming out. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's mark a waypoint on the Navionics. All right, buddy, go back, be a free trout, do what you do normally. Goodbye. All right, so you're watching me right now and I'm moving around, but I don't have a fish finder. So the next, next best thing you can do is get yourself a Navionics subscription when you're in a pinch and you can see a baseline. It's not very accurate really, but you can get a baseline of where you're fishing the depth you're looking for, the contour, and obviously putting some waypoints down. So that's why I'm looking at my phone constantly because I'm trying to get on the spot that I've been at. And um, very, very challenging without a fish finder. And I can't see the fish underneath me and I don't know what I'm doing. So um, saving it, this thing right here is saved for the trip for me. And um, I'm really happy that I got it because I'm fishing well over 100 feet deep right now. And I'm fishing right where I caught that first fish. So we'll see if I get one right here. All right, I'm really in them now, guys and girls. I'm gonna get one. I'm pretty in them. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> oh, this is a little bigger. Maybe. No, that's the same size. I'm in him! <laughs> Went from zero to everything. <laughs> wow. Well, this is bigger. This is a bigger one. Okay. No, it's definitely bigger right here. Oh wow, big head shape. Let's see if we can keep them on. This is definitely bigger. I can't even remember keep remembering to keep turning the camera on. Because I'm in the middle of this taking photographs, dropping jigs, catching fish. <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> Dang, this is a bigger fish. Oh yeah, I can see him down there. Oh, all right. Oh. All right. Yeah, this is a little bigger. 
I would have to say. I don't know how much bigger. I'm probably gonna have to get serious, aren't I? Oh my god! Yes, dude! Yes, dude! Woo! Come to Papa! Oh my god! That's like that's like a seven pounder, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Dude! Yes! Don't worry, there's nothing over here, guys. Just stay over there. <laughs> wow! Woo! Baby, look at that fish. Look at that thing. <laughs> okay, you guys. This is an absolute, this is an absolute awesome fish right here. Look at this thing. That, it's not even that big by a lot of people's uh, personal experience, but this is my biggest. What a cool fish on the gold. All right, recap. This was day three. I've been trying to catch the lake trout, Mackinac. I went to two lakes. I first fished Lake Tahoe, almost exactly where I've been fishing today. And that was day one. Then I fished day two on Lake Donner, Donner Lake. And at Donner Lake, I took my nephew, Joseph. I got hooked up to one in like 130 feet of water. And today, I went to Lake Tahoe in the afternoon after a big rain, which is also still coming in. And um, the cloud cover was over the over our heads. There was no sun. And that's what I think really attributed to, or very little sun, but I think that attributed greatly to these fish biting. So maybe, maybe not. I also figured out that there's a particular depth that these guys were fishing or that these guys were eating at today. And I stuck with it and I really developed a good pattern there. And I think I'll bring out my nephew tomorrow to try to make it happen again. But easily, easily, you know, one of the more fun options to go out here and try your hand at Lake Tahoe, Lake Trout Fishing. The slow pitch jigging is effective, come to find out. I, you know, I came up here knowing that I was going to fish only what I rep. That's what we do at Fishing Reps. But, uh... I've never done it in freshwater, and clearly, they like it, so I'm interested to try it in other places too, I think other species as well, but that 20 gram assassin, didn't matter the color, we tried blue, we tried gold, maybe we'll try red or something like that on a different day, but that 20 gram assassin just seemed like it was definitely a biting uh, jig, slow pitch jig, so I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, maybe we'll go out tomorrow, but if not, it was nice to show you guys some of this fishing up in Lake Tahoe. It's beautiful. Can't wait to come back one day and pull on a 20-pounder one day. So catch us again on Fishing Reps. Watch our adventures. And obviously, support us by purchasing some product at one of the stores in your area. And if you don't have it, let us know. And we'll get to a store near you. Thanks, guys, for watching. Got a little sprinkle going. Maybe then before the beer will rain. But it's coming.